Oh, this is going to be super important. Are you still straining on your high notes? All singers want to know how to sing better high notes. Well, I'm going to tell you four things that you probably didn't know about high notes. And then we're going to do three exercises to tie it all together. For easier high notes and how to approach them, watch right now. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. 30 years of teaching voice, 42 years of studying voice, all different styles. I take serious vocal technique and make it simple and fun. So, the secret to high notes is not in the high note, it's in your approach before the high notes. Right now, we're going to talk about your middle voice. Your middle voice must be balanced. That means ease in production, ease in airflow, ease in the way the vocal folds come together, freedom in the throat. If you are not experiencing freedom in your middle voice, please don't go on struggling with your high notes because they're just not going to get easier. If you have a lot of throat tension, look at the videos in my playlist on the tight throat in singing. Once your middle voice is free, then you can go on to my video with the six steps to better high notes. But for right now, let's focus on your approach. So secret number one is balance in your middle voice. Secret number two is those vocal folds must stretch and thin as you ascend or else you are just putting a low lid on your voice and you will be fighting yourself. You can't just push up all the weight and shout your whole voice or else, my friends, you're going to have problems and it's not safe. As you sing higher, once again, those vocal folds must stretch and thin and the feeling, the sensation in the body changes. It feels lighter while being anchored in the body as you ascend in pitch. It's a lot easier on the body, but you have to experience and get used to this shift in the sensations. You know what I always say, good singers are very aware of what their singing feels like. And as you ascend in pitch, you want to make sure that your voice box, your larynx doesn't jump up or else you'll be choking on your own voice. You know my favorite exercise to experience this and that is the spoken siren. Oh, or high voices. You've got to feel the shift in those sensations. Let's try it with the three fingers on the front of the neck, which is the exercise I do in a lot of my videos, like this. Oh, together. Oh. Now, you got to feel that stretching and thinning. The voice feels lighter. Don't shout your voice all the way to the top or else you will not have high notes. Okay, one more time. Oh. If you are just shouting and pushing up the weight and getting louder as you go higher, you will not have nice high notes because you are not allowing the body to do what it needs to do. If you don't know how to blend as you ascend, then watch the videos in my playlist on the mixed voice. And if you are singing in your chest dominant blend, okay, you need to know how to go from the speaking voice into the cry. I talk a lot about that in those videos. Without the cry, kiss the high notes goodbye. So if secret number one is balance in your middle voice and secret number two is the vocal folds needing to stretch and thin as you ascend, secret number three is your passaggio or your bridge. Your passaggio is the gateway to your high notes. The passaggio or bridge will differ from singer to singer, but it might be here. That's B flat three to C four. It might be E flat four to F four. It might be A flat four to B flat four. Or it might be E flat five to F five. Every voice is different, but here are your general rules. Keep your mouth in a more vertical position, more on the slender side, 
through the passaggio. You can open up wider in the high notes, but through the passaggio, that's like the narrow part of the hourglass, slender is the operative word. Also, keep your vowel slender. Wide open vowels, wide open mouth equals spread voice and death to the high notes. Let me demonstrate in different parts of my voice. Not. Oh, I'll never get high that way. How about here? How about up here? I have two videos on the vocal break or crack that will give you lots of exercises and show you how to navigate this important part of your voice. Remember, your passaggio or your bridge is your gateway to the high notes. Now, once again, in this video, we are focusing on your approach to the high notes before you get to the high notes. If you want to know specifically what to do right in the high notes, then watch my video on the six steps to high notes. Secret number four, it generally takes less air to sing higher, not more air, which is the opposite of what a lot of singers do. The more air you push and blow, the more easily you're going to blow those vocal folds apart, or you're going to have to hold back and squeeze to keep those vocal folds together. Remember how that siren felt when we went, oh, it takes less air up there, not more air, or else you're going to wind up going, oh, and you're going to blow your voice apart. I think we better do it two more times to be sure. Three fingers on the front of the neck. I'll do it first with the lower voices. Oh, and for the higher voices. Oh, you can do both if you want. Now let's see if we can put this together in exercise two, which will be a simple five tone ascending, descending scale. Let's see if we can keep that larynx floating in a stable way. Also, keeping the throat nice and free, feeling that stretching and thinning gradually while staying anchored in the body. Focused vowels, slender through the passaggio. I will demonstrate on beep or bub. You can do whichever one feels easiest to you. Ba, 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 ba. I'll do it on beep. Beep, 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 beep. One more. Ba, 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 ba. Did you notice? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Did you notice? I stayed slender and I allowed those vocal folds to stretch and thin gradually. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Let's do it together. Ba, 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 ba. On beep if you want. Beep, 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 beep. Ba, 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 ba. Let's do it for the high voices up here. Ba, 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 ba. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. Ba, 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 ba. Once the five tone scale is easy for you, then you're ready for the nine tone scale like this. Ba 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 Let's do it. Ba 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 Really pay attention to what you're doing through the passaggio. Now the nine tone scale is going to be more challenging because we're covering a bigger range. We are generally going from one register into the next. Let's do a little bit higher. I will sing it here. You can do it there or down here. Here we go, on bub or beep. Now, just to show you, if I am slender through the passaggio, I can allow my mouth position, my embouchure, 
to open slightly wider as I get higher and I can allow that vowel to get slightly wider as I get higher if I need it and if you need it. Like this. Or But remember, we never spread our vowels. Spread vowels equals spread voice. Now, if you can do these kinds of exercises, going from your low to middle, through your passaggio to the upper voice, smoothly and easily in your warm-ups, then you are ready to go on to your other singing. Remember, do not do random or mindless exercises without knowing what you are doing and what the exercises are for. Watch my video on my exercise formula and also how to progress more quickly with your singing. It's all in the way you practice. Oh, I forgot to tell you. A lot of times students will come into lessons and they're killing themselves over the high notes. And we do these simple kinds of exercises, working on the middle voice, working on the passaggio, following all the guidelines that I give you, and all of a sudden, the high notes take care of themselves. Again, they look at me like I'm some kind of a magician. This is the power of the approach. My words of wisdom, the secret to your high notes lies in your approach in the middle to upper middle voice. Master this part of your voice and your high notes will come more easily. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up, and keep mastering your middle voice, your upper middle voice, your gateway to the high notes. I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon.